Hi students, my name is Shubham Tyagi. I hope you all are doing well and I wish you to be happy and healthy. Let's directly start with today's topic. Today we're gonna start with permutation and combination. That's a very important topic as per your placement point of view. So if I ask you what is permutation and what is combination? So permutation is the arrangement of different type of objects taken some at a time. And combination is the selection of different types of objects taken some at a time. If I ask you what is the fundamental difference between the permutation and combination. So fundamental difference is defined from the order. If in a combination order does not matter. But in permutation order matters. How let's understand. Let's take an example. Suppose you have to uh, you have to make a team of three players and you have to choose three players out of 30 players. Now students tell me does it really matters that who is selecting first and who is selecting later? Actually it really does not matter. Whoever is selecting first and whoever is selecting later finally they will be in the same team. So if order of the uh, selection does not matter, then it is a problem on combination. But suppose you had to give the prize to the selected players. Then definitely it really matters that who is getting the gold prize and who is getting the silver prize. Now order matters. And if order matters, then that problem will become to the permutation problem. If I talk about uh, the normal keywords, normally in permutation, we have the keyword that is arrangement. Listen carefully, in permutation, the keyword is arrangement. In combination, we uh, the keyword is select. So through the keyword, you can easily find out the problem is related your the permutation problem or it is the problem on the combination. Let's start with the fundamental of addition and multiplication rule. Let's take an example. Suppose you have to go from city A to city C. Suppose there are three cities, city A, city B and city C. And you have to go from city A to city C. So there are three ways to go from city A to city B. And there are two ways available to, grow, to go from city B to city C. If you have to go from city A to city C, definitely you have to go first of all city A to city B and then city B to city C. So A to B and B to C. Listen carefully, I am using a keyword over here A to B and B to C. What is that keyword? The keyword is AND. And whenever there will be the keyword that is AND, we use the multiplication rule. A to B, we have three ways to go and B to C, we have two ways to go. So, and I'm using the AND keyword, so I will apply the multiplication rule over here. So, to go A to C, we can, we have totally three into two, we have six ways. Now, let's take one more example. Suppose there is a... Uh, three cities again city A, B and C. City A to B there are three possible ways and city B to C there are two ways available. And there is one more way available that is directly from city A to city C. Now by how many ways you can go from city A to city C? Now you have two choices. Either you can go from city A to B and B to C or you can directly go A to C. So A to B and B to C, we have 3 into 2 total 6 ways. Or A to C directly we have only a single way. So totally if I am using the OR keyword, I will use the addition rule over here. So for addition rule, we will have 6 plus 1, there will be 7 ways, total 7 ways to go from city A to city C. So students permutation is basically it's all about the different type of arrangement taken one by one or some or all at a time. 
So the basic formula that we use in permutations that is NPR which is equivalent to factorial N by factorial N minus R. I hope you all are aware of the factorial things. So let's take an example. Suppose you have four letters A, B, C and D and you have to choose two letters from the given four letters. By how many ways you can choose it? Yes, you can take uh, AB, either you can take AC, you can also take AD or you can change the reverse order as well. You can take BA, BC, BD, CA. So same the total order if you will write down it there will be the 12 uh, orders. You can directly can find out the using this formula. So total we have four letters over here. So we can directly say your n value is equivalent of 4. You have to choose two letters out of four letters. So r value will be your 2. Now you can use the npr which will be your 4p2 which is equivalent of factorial 4 divided by factorial 2. And the value of it is equivalent of 12. Now come to the part of combination. Combination, we know the basic understanding of combination. Combination is basically the selection. So almost all questions on selection, selections of team, selections of groups of people, selections of committee are based on the combination. The basic formula we use in combination that is NCR, which is equivalent to factorial N divided by factorial N minus R into factorial R where n signifies the total number of different items important thing is different item item should be your different different same r is the number of items selected from the set now students as i told you the basic formula of permutation that was your npr but i told you it was the basic formula when the objects are your different type but what if there are objects are identical if objects are identical we use the different formula for it if there are total n objects and r1 out of that r1 are the same like r1 r1 objects are the same type r2 objects are the same type and rk up to rk there are the different types so we can directly find, use the formula formula for the identical object we use factorial n divide by factorial r1 into factorial r2 and up to factorial rk. We better learn from the examples. So let's directly move to the sample problems or examples so that we can better learn how is it working. So what is our first sample problem? My first question is how many words can be formed by using three letters from the word Delhi? So if you see in Delhi we have five letters in it. And all five letters are the different letters. So I can apply the basic formula in it. I have to make a word which is which should be formed by three letters. So out of five, I have to take out three letters. By how many ways I can take it? Yes, by 5p3, five, five which is equivalent of factorial 5 divided by factorial 2. So that will be your 60 words. You can directly find out factorial 5 by factorial 2. The value of it is it will be your 60. Now come to the second question. Second question is how many words can be formed by using the letters from the word driver such that all the vowels are always together. So if you see the word that is given over here that is driver. So we have six letters in it. And out of six letters, two letters are the identical letter. They are R and R. Over here, R is being used by two times. So I can use the permutation formula. Permutation formula, but which one? The identical. Permutation formula for the identical objects one. So over here, if you see the different objects are D. The different letters are, sorry, D r i v and e so they are total five letters five letters how can we arrange it fact by factorial five divide by factorial two 
Why? Because R is repeated two times over here. So R is an identical object and it is repeated by two times. So the number of possible arrangement will equivalent of factorial 5 divided by factorial 2, which is equivalent of 60. Now, but the question is that vowels should be always together. I find, found out, I found out the total number of possible arrangement. We, we have found the total number of possible arrangement that is 60 but that is not the case that in which vowels are always come together. Always remember whenever there is a case that always uh, vowels are together or few letters are together always assume the together letters as a single letter. So if you take the together letters as a single letter. so I and E are the vowel letters. I can take I and E as a single character. Now if I take I and E as a single character, I will have D, R, V, R and I, E. There are total number of 5 letters will be there. So 5 letters will be there and uh, R is occurring of 2 times. So now I can arrange them by factorial 5 by factorial factorial 5 by factorial 2 times which is 60 but now this i and e also can be arranged by factorial 2 times so the total number of the total number of possible arrangement that is 60 into 2 which is equivalent of 120 let's come to the another problem which is question number 3 how many words can be formed by using the letters from the word driver such that all the vowels are never together. In previous question we find the solution that all vowels are come together. Now we have to find out the possible number of arrangement or possible number of words in which vowels are never come together. So what we can do we can find out the total number of possible arrangement and yes we can directly the uh, take the difference of the total number of possible arrangement and the number of words in which your vowels are always together. So we already have found out if vowels are always together by how many times we can arrange it. We can arrange them by factorial 5 divided by factorial 2 which is 60 and yes vowels are also can be arranged by factorial 2 times. So the total possible ways in which vowels are always together that is 16 to 2 which is 120. Now what is the total number of possible arrangement? So in driver we have total 6 letters. 6 letters can be arranged by factorial 6 but here R is an identical letter. R is repeated 2 times so it can be arranged factorial 6 by factorial 2. So 720 by 2 that is total possible words can be possible which is, which is equivalent to of 360. So therefore the total number of possible words which that the vowels are never together. So we can take the difference 360 minus 120 which is equivalent of 240. We can uh, see the question number 4. Question number 4 is how many numbers greater than 10,000 can be formed from the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So we have total number of digits they are which we have given they are the five digits and we have to find out without repetition. So number should be the greater than 10,000. So definitely in number there should be the five digit. So five digit if we have to make it more than 10,000 your your uh, leftmost digit your leftmost digit it should be 1 or greater than 1 it should be your 1 or greater than 1 of course i cannot use 0 over here in the leftmost digit position so it can be it can be arranged or it can be filled by four times because 0 i can put i cannot put it over here i can put it over here 1 2 3 and 4 so I can I I we we have we have four choices for it for the second digit again we have four choices but over here we can include zero as well one on already we have used it so the third digit we have three choices 